it's time to talk about the five best things and the five worst things about Madden 24. We've gotten all of the info by now. We've got to play it in early stages. I even got to play it at EA a while back. So I've put together a list of what I think the game is good at and what the game is bad at. And over the years, I've grown to learn that people view the game differently. Something that you may think is very important, somebody else might not care about and vice versa. So it's important to talk about the things that the game does well and the things that it's still lacking because based on the individual person, that's going to help them make a decision on whether or not the game is for them. I'm also going to be having some early copies of the game to give away very soon, so make sure to follow on my social media because I will be doing a giveaway over the next few days. So let's talk about the five best things first. Number one, franchise mode. This is a mode that we all know got neglected for a very long time, and to be honest, there's still things that it's missing and things that it can do better. But in terms of Madden 24, they added quite a bit to franchise mode this year, probably the most that they have added since I can remember. It's been a while and that's a really good thing for the mode. If you're a person that plays franchise mode every year, you're definitely going to like it better this year than you have in previous years. They finally updated relocation teams, giving you way more cities to relocate to. They updated all of the uniforms and they've also made it to where you can relocate as a coach and you can do it immediately without waiting. They added six trade slots. They added a bunch of new commissioner tools so that you can set your league up exactly how you want it. If you want to make trading more difficult or make it easier, you can do that. If you want to tinker with regression between between positions and what age that those players start regressing, you can do that. If you want to turn off home field advantage, you can do that as well. If you want to edit the draft class strengths to make certain draft classes strong quarterback classes and then other draft classes strong receiver classes, but weak running back classes, for example, you can do that. They've also added more skill trees and skills for the assistant coaches. They've added new draft class generators. And on top of all that, they brought back mini camp with a bunch of mini games that you can use in the offseason and during your weekly training to upgrade your players. Number two on the best list is the return of superstar mode. Face of the franchise is no longer and we're finally moving back in the direction of an old school superstar mode. It's not quite there yet, but it's definitely better than face of the franchise. In my opinion, I really didn't like face of the franchise. I didn't like the story element of it too much. I thought a lot of it was forced and corny and it just felt like there wasn't enough to do. Superstar mode is bringing us back more towards our roots. You've got the combine back with more drills than they had in the old combine, so that's pretty cool. They've taken the storylines out of it, and you only get cut scenes now when it makes sense just to progress your player forward. They've also added player grading to superstar mode so that you get real-time feedback and a post-game grade on how you did as both a player and a teammate. They've added tiered abilities to the mode so that you can upgrade them along the way, and they've also taken the yard and turned that into superstar showdown, which goes hand-in-hand -hand with superstar mode. Now, we haven't quite seen this yet, but I got to play it during the beta and earlier than that and it actually was a lot of fun it's similar to the yard but a little bit better because it's three on three with no ai it's all user versus user so you can take your created player similar to like in nba 2k and you go to that street element and you can use that player and it's just basically one-on-one -on -one with other users who can get open who can shut you down who's the better user and i think that's a great mode for madden 24 and it's a little bit better than what they did with the yard hey really quickly if you're still here at this point of the video and you haven't subscribed yet, you might as well join the family and subscribe because you're basically already a part of the family whether you like it or not. I'm trying to hit a million subs one day. I need your help and it would be greatly appreciated. Number three, crossplay. Now, some people might think this is a bad thing only because people are worried that it could cause server issues. I've been one of those people as well. But the good thing is if you don't want to participate in crossplay, there is an option to turn it off so you don't have to worry about it if that's the case. But I think crossplay is a great thing to come to these video games. It's 2023 and it should be standard by now you can play your friends that are on different systems and you can even play people that are on pc which is a really big deal because the pc community is so much smaller compared to the console community so when you play on pc a lot of times there's just not a lot of people that you can play against now the pool is so much bigger because pc can play against xbox and playstation so i think that's a great thing to finally be added to madden hopefully it doesn't cause any server issues though number four mini games with the return of mini camp and franchise mode it brings all of these great mini games to the game and you can also play them outside of franchise mode we've got some of the old ones from back in the day like rushing attack and the coffin corner punt but they also added a bunch of new ones that we never had before and even with some of the older ones they've added different twists to them to make them more up to date for 2023 and number five the field sense update i think field sense did a pretty decent job in madden 23 i didn't have too many problems with the gameplay outside of a few things that were a little overpowered but in terms of 
love what they did with updating the passing and the tackling and stuff like that. I thought it was good. And they further built on that in Madden 24. They've added even more tackles, but one of the big areas that they made this better with is catching the ball. Catching is so much smoother this year. For somebody like me who is a heavy passer typically in Madden, I need the catching to be on point. And this year, they've made the catching in stride so much better. They don't slow down. They don't kind of glitch and warp nearly as much to slow down and catch the ball. They catch everything in stride now. Even if the ball is slightly behind the receiver, they'll spin catch and kind of still keep their momentum going. They don't slow down. And this actually allows you to take plays that otherwise maybe wouldn't be big gains or wouldn't be touchdowns. And you can turn them into big gains and touchdowns because they never slow down. They always kind of move with a purpose. They've also done a lot of work with run blocking in this area too. So that has actually made the game, I think, more balanced because now running the ball is a little bit better than it has been in the past couple of years. But even in other areas, you see this shine like the pathfinding for CPU running backs. So when you're playing against the CPU, it's a little bit more of a challenge stopping the run. And really quickly, I do want to mention before we get into the second part of the video that we are once again sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. They've been a huge supporter of the channel. If you like fantasy sports or if you like me and you like to dabble in the sports gambling, they have a very fun pick em game where you can put a couple player props together and if they hit, you can win some big money. Now, if you use my promo code Ray when you sign up, they'll actually double your first deposit up to $100. So you can get $100 free dollars to play around with. So definitely check it out if that's something you're into. Now let's talk about the five worst things about Madden 24 in my opinion and number one without a doubt is the presentation. Now I've talked about this for years on this channel. This is one of the areas that Madden has kind of always lacked. Even in its best days, presentation could have been better. And there's some years where they do make some updates to presentation to make the game feel more fresh, but they don't usually build on it much. And this is another year where they didn't do a whole lot here. The one area of presentation that they did make better was what happens between the plays. You do get a lot more player emotion players will talk trash to each other they'll push each other around sometimes they'll kind of taunt each other in between plays like you see happen in real life and I really do like that and it does make the game feel a little bit more alive but outside of that there's still so much to be desired in terms of presentation there's no good halftime show there's no updated announced crew or just extra announcers there's still no different branding and franchise mode for different primetime games you still don't have like ESPN and CB and those types of things. Number two, customization. Without a doubt, this is the next biggest thing on the list for me, and I've talked about this for years as well. Now, thankfully, we did get some relocation updates, but at the end of the day, we want create a team back, and hopefully, we do get that back one day, but every other major sports game has a create a team. We don't have that. We used to have things like create a play and create a fan, and we don't have that anymore either. We still don't have the ability to do custom equipment in terms of like changing the colors and stuff like that. We still don't have custom tattoos that we can put on players and these are all things that they have spoke about over the past few years as wanting to add to the game so these are things they want to put in but for some reason they're still not there yet number three superstar mode positions now i know i said superstar mode is one of the best things because it is back and it's great to have it back and it's great to have the combine once again and it's great to have something that's better than face of the franchise but the one big area that this mode is not true to the old superstar mode is you still can't be any position you want and that's something i think they definitely desperately need to get in this game sooner rather than later, especially with NCAA coming out next year. If you're doing Road to Glory in NCAA, you've got to make it to where you can be any player. So I think this is going to come to Madden eventually because the NCAA career is going to have to seamlessly transition into the Madden career. And that's why I believe they brought Superstar Mode back, but it just still isn't fully built out yet to have every position. You can't be a kicker. You can't be a pass rusher, a tight end. You can't be an offensive lineman and things like that. So that is one of the bad things about the game to me because I think that should just be standard. Number four, Mutt Draft. Now, unlike regular Mutt, Mutt Draft, or as it used to be known, Draft Champions, was actually a mode that a lot of people liked because you didn't have to spend money to play it. You could go into this mode and you can use the players that were in Ultimate Team, but you used it in a draft format where you would draft random players each round and then you would play against other people's drafted teams. Everybody would have even teams. Everybody would be on an even playing field. There was no play to play. There was no way to have a super advantage 
advantage over anybody else and it was a fun way to get that ultimate team experience without having to play actual ultimate team even people that weren't mutt players liked mutt draft aka draft champions because the idea of mutt has always been fun it's just the pay to play aspect to it is what turns people off but mutt draft wasn't that way now this mode has fallen by the wayside for years and it's basically just in the game to be in the game at this point it doesn't ever really get updated they don't do anything cool with it yet you can see in a game like MLB the show they have battle royale which is similar to mutt draft in some ways the blueprint is there this is a mode that works so well in MLB the show it's a proven concept that people love it's one of the best parts about MLB the show and Madden already has a mode similar to that and they don't do anything with it I think this could be one of the biggest and most fun modes in this game I think this game could take Madden to new levels if they just actually put some love care and updates into it and number five no cross play for franchise mode this is a bummer because franchise mode is one of the areas where I think cross play could be the most beneficial because it'd be so much easier to fill leagues and have more active leagues because you have a bigger pool of people to choose from now EA did say that cross play will be coming to franchise mode it's not something that they're neglecting it's just not going to be in the game at launch and I'm pretty sure the reason why is because they want to make sure everything's going to work properly before they put this in franchise mode because after what happened in 23 they just can't afford any more big problems in franchise mode they can't afford these big bugs and glitches they can't afford the server issues and files getting corrupted so I understand why they're going to take their time and not just rush cross play to franchise mode because I think we would all prefer a working franchise mode without cross play versus a broken franchise mode with cross play but they did say it is coming sooner rather than later whether that means it's going to be in a Madden 24 update or it's going to be in Madden 25 that we don't know but I'm just going to assume we're not getting it in Madden 24 and at the very least we're not going to get it for the first few months so if you were looking forward to that that's definitely going to be one of the worst things about Madden 24. Now if you want to know about five big things that were fixed for Madden 24's gameplay make sure you check out this video right here on the screen.